Yeah, good timing. That was perfect. Um, we are live. Now I'm going to actually stop watching your stream. No, like it still shows up. I had... There we go. I'm on our faces, nice and big. Sorry, Keith. Uh, just so you know, Keaton, I have a feet now, so I cannot be flat-footed to hidden or undetected or flanking creatures. So them flanking me so doesn't know. That are flanking you? Yes. Wait. I'm no longer flat-footed to that. Okay. But uh, spell effects and stuff, and of course, being like prone. Yes. Thank you, flat-footed. Cool. All right. Uh, Matt, do you have a camera? Yeah, one sec. One sec, one sec. Alright, so, uh, everyone except for one person, uh, sent me, uh, the responses to my dumbass request. That's me, that's me. Um, <laughs> you, you sent me. It was good. Um, I appreciated your, your tip of what I can do better. <laughs> I'll work on it, I'll really try. Um, so I won't say exactly uh, what you guys suggested, um, but I will say, you know, I want to, you know, always make sure I'm doing good, making this fun for you guys, making sure I'm doing it, uh, doing the type of campaign you guys want. Um, so appreciate the feedback. Uh, so I'm going to, uh, just broadly overall, I'm going to try to take a step back and try to not put myself uh, into the narrative as much. Of course, I still have to be guiding the, um, uh, like the adventure, of course, and I have to tell you what's going on. But um, I'm going to try to um, not insert myself into the characters as much. Um, sometimes that's hard for me, but I'm, I'm going to try to do that. Um, so I'm going to be relying much more on you guys to be dictating, you know, what's happening. What are you guys doing? I need you to be describing what your character's doing, what they're thinking, and what they are intending. That one's probably most important of all. What is your character's intent? Um, as well as I'm going to make sure to have you guys roll when the outcome matters as much as possible. And also, well, I don't think I have this issue so much as... Uh, some other GMs, but like not making you roll too much. Um, but I'm gonna, I think I need to make you guys actually roll more for doing things uh, instead of just saying, like, yeah, that would be cool, let's do it, or no, that's not cool, I'm not gonna let you do that. I'm gonna s try to let the rolls decide uh, what happens, but that also requires more, more input from you guys, more involvement from there, uh, a little bit. But hopefully, I can give you guys the room to act that out and uh, fulfill your characters. Um, and I, uh, am important to that, I'm going to try to prompt you guys more, try to nudge you guys towards making those decisions instead of just, um, you know, having it be a little open and just say, what do you do? Uh, so, uh, that's what I'm going to try to work on at least immediately. There's some other stuff, uh, that I'm going to, uh, work through to be improving, but those are my immediate goals for, uh, things I want to work on. All right. Um, so... Uh, other than uh, that feedback, that's the big thing I want to try to work on. What uh, What is going on in the story? Where are we at? Who wants to, to recap us? I'm eating Pop-Tart <laughs> this time. I'm powerful. <laughs> Matt, what's going on? Um, <laughs> Where are you? So we're in the dungeon. We went across the squirt, ended up on the side <clears throat> where the, the, I don't know what those creatures are, what are they called? The boss uh, guy. I'm not sure that you guys know what they're okay. called. So with the boss guy, we went into the room with the hole, killed some creatures, and then Opened the next door into the boss's room, and we fought yes. Boss Scrog and Bite Bite. We, bites, yeah. <clears throat> we convinced uh, Scrog to join our side, 
and let us have a, a nibble nibble. And then yeah. uh, he told us that we need to go down and take care of the mushroom people. Uh, so mushroom eyed. Mushroom what? Mushroom eyed. They have mushroom eyes. The mushroom eyed people. Yeah. And, uh. Shit. Oh, he's gonna kill Otari. His plan with his army was to play all of Otari. Yes. And then, as we were going down, we killed the breeding station of, uh, the maggots. Oh, yeah. They were gonna be buzz buzzes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, uh,. Almost died, but Scrog was generous enough to allow us to continue, and we recovered and took camp before descending down. Sweet. Okay. Uh, so you guys uh, wake up in the morning. Um, would any of your characters uh, wake up before the others? Is there any of you that are super early risers? <laughs> Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> no, it's... No, I, it's, um, it's... I just don't know why you asked the question. <laughs> <laughs> is, is your character an early riser? Does he get up early? Yeah. Is the mountain man? Yeah. You gotta <laughs> wake up before the trees. Yeah, before the trees. You have to wake up okay. before the trees. Okay, so mountain man Calvage wakes up before all the others. Um, he's used to getting up early with the sunrise, even before the sunrise, to chop some wood. Uh, so you get up early. Uh, everyone else uh, is still asleep. Boydix curled up next to Cindy. Uh, Ram is curled up next to a maggot. Uh, you know, using it as a pillow. Uh, you don't see Moreau, but you recall, you know, he's um, over here in the um, in the hole. He went down there, and uh, Boss Boss Grong is, you know, just uh, slouched onto the the stone wall over here uh, in front of the door um, when you wake up you hear s the scraping and scratching against stone um, in the room to the uh, north of you just above you you're your first one up no one else is awake what do you do What does Calvish think I, when he first wakes up? I regret waking up early. <laughs> um, <laughs> I hearing the sounds makes me curious, but I know that we have a plan, and I want to wait for everybody. So okay. I go through and position myself to make sure that my friends are safe while they're sleeping still. But just wait for us to continue our adventure. Okay. So, uh, that'll last for, you're probably only, uh, awake by yourself for, um, you know, another 10-15 minutes, and then everyone else, uh, they slowly start, you know, rolling over, waking up, alright, so, what do you all do? I jump out of my hole. Good decision. <laughs> and I've been doing just fine. Gotta, gotta get down. Cause I want it all. Yeah. I, uh... I also wake up and notice that... Um, Calridge isn't next to me, so I put away my, my bedroll. And Cindy and I uh, go to follow him, since he usually seems to have a plan with things. Okay. So when you walk up to him, you know, what do you say? You just see him standing there in front of this, this door. Uh, give me, give me a second. I'm gonna sneeze. Okay, went away. Um, 
Good morning, Dwarfin brother. Hi. Uh, what do today? Uh, continue on. Need to get these uh, this basement creatures taken care of. Mm. So, are you two both fully on board with Vaskrong's plan? Um, so and you wake up, you, you know, like immediately, like you probably have to do this one way or another, but, um, what are you, what are you thinking about what's about to happen? So I, to as you walk up. I was concerned about his Otari plan, but once we heard that taking care of this means we take care of Otari, I, I'm fully on board. I want to okay. do it with him. And, and you trust him, you know, like if you do this. You believe that he will, will not try to take over Atari? Well, that's what... We had that perception roll, right? We, th As far as we could tell, he was on this. I have his yeah, trident, I so... That. Yeah. Very trustworthy. Yeah. Okay. So... Okay, and, and Ram, as you, you wake up, you feel like a nice, good, uh, warm slime and goo on your, your right side as you, uh, you wake up and the, the maggot starts wiggling. Uh, you know, it's, you can, uh, feel it's, like, stomach churning, and that, the rumbling of its stomach wakes you up. And you see, uh, your three friends standing by the door, waiting for you to get up. Well, it's time to go, I guess. And I, uh, pet my little friend, and then get up to the, join my party. So, Boss Grong, finally, you know, he, he's still a little sleepy, he opens his eyes and he sees you all standing uh, over him, he's like, oh, um, I guess, I guess you're all ready then. But he, he stands up, he, he hobbles over to the door, he says, uh, uh excuse me, dwarf. Excuse me. Excuse, yeah, thank you. Good dwarf must um, pass. And he, he pulls out this giant key ring. Um, says, uh, I, I don't actually know where these keys came from. But, um, my, I found some of them laying around. I, I hope one of these works. Um, and as she's playing with the keys, you know, it keeps putting uh, ones in and it's not working. Uh, you see one key in particular, it's like, um, it's like bejeweled, it's bedazzled, he's, it's got gems all up, uh, all up and down. It, um, it, it sparkles against the light of Rem's, uh, torch. Um, but he, uh, he never touches that one. He goes and he touches all the other ones, uh, but it seems like he knows that key does not work in the store. He says, uh, maybe, maybe I'll try this one. It's, there's an old... Very rusted uh, um, iron key, and he uh, shoves it in. He goes to turn it. the The door turns. It unlocks, but the key shatters. It just breaks apart because it's so rusty. He he steps forward, shoves open the door. He says, "Um, there you go. I guess uh." We won't be able to lock this door again, so please make sure you take care of this, those evil monsters down there. Hey, Scrog, what's that, uh, what's that fancy key you got there for? Oh, um, uh, yeah, I, I don't really remember, you know, I just found these keys lying around. I assume it opens something. Mm. You mind if we take the keys? Well, might work downstairs. I never know what yeah, kind of door we're gonna run into. Uh, yeah, you know, um, sure. I this key doesn't look like it goes to anything here, though. It's it was probably left here for um way back in Elcora's days. That's maybe maybe it's something down there, and uh, he he just barely holds it out to you looks like he, he doesn't really want to give you all these keys uh, but he he hands it over appreciate it we'll let you know if we find what door that opens 
Yes, yes, sir. Thank you. I'm still gonna chop it down. At the door? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys uh, enter this room. Can you see in the southwest here, uh, as soon as you enter, the ceiling is collapsed down. There's stone and wood uh, all uh, in a pile of rubble there. And the along the walls are uh, several shelves, but the books and papers once kept there have rotted. You can see the books are all torn and, and rotted away. Um, all the leather is like uh, super rotted and deformed. Uh, and you can tell like there's been a lot of exposure to the elements, you know, from the ceiling here. It's uh, decades or centuries even of, of rain and, and wind have uh, uh, torn up all these papers here. Um, I can't. And uh, the same is true for uh, the, the wooden uh, shelves over in the north wall and the uh, desk and chair in the uh, northeast. My character can't move, I'm refreshing. Okay. Same. Is this hosted? In there. Is this hosted server side, or is it on your computer? Uh, I don't know what you mean. Yes, is my the... computer is the server. <clears throat> gotcha. Is it slower today? Yeah. Uh, did he go robo for everybody, or was that just me? Just you. But okay. I um, I can't load in. I refreshed, and the page isn't loading anymore. Same. I can tell you guys good. Uh, I have to refresh. Yeah, mine's fine. Oh, wait. Never mind. I have to refresh too. <laughs> it was fine and then it went away. As soon as you walk into the door. Yeah, as soon as I walked into the door. As soon as you guys walk into the door, 